Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I want to show you how to build a complex roof. Well, um, kind of. It's kind of a tutorial slash demonstration. Because most, I'll just tell you a few things and then I'll be doing more work in it. So, um, what I'm going to... First of all, let me introduce that this is not a... This is actually not one of my houses. This is someone else's house. But the idea is to show you that you can roof anything. Any complex roof, but... Complex roofs really aren't that hard to make. However, people do make some common errors in which I see all the time whenever I visit the warehouse. Therefore, it detracts from a beautiful house. And let, before I get started, let me show you some common mistakes people have made, and I'll tell you how they made them. So, I have a few examples here of some really nice houses, but not really so nice roofs. I mean, take a look at this roof, and I'm not going to say any names, and I want to say one more, more thing. Is that these houses are really, really nice. It's just that the roofs aren't. The roofs could use some work, and I'll show you. As you can see, I mean, beautiful windows, nice porch, that sort of thing. However, what you see, what detracts from it is all these different angles. Really, um, they just find planes, and then they just try to link them together. And also, I mean, light pitches mixed with steep pitches all over the place. I mean, these lines, you see this line, this line, this line, this line, this line are actually supposed to be, supposed to meet up with each other. What I meant to say is be parallel with each other, or not. There's a side view showing that, I mean, especially hip, this is very common in hipped roofs and hipped and gable roofs. Sometimes gable roofs, but not as often. Where they're not with it, where this time people don't have these, they just don't measure um, the angles when before, whenever they do it, whenever they make the roofs, you know, they don't trans or they don't transfer the planes. As you can see, um, this porch here that sticks out doesn't look very good, it kind of it has that tackiness to it. This roof, as you can see, I mean, the, as you see, the house is pretty nice, but it's the roof. Some people have asked me why they haven't been getting the downloads that I've been getting. Um, this is probably the reason. I mean, um, the roof alone um, can either make or break your project. You know what I mean? And I mean, in real life, you don't see it. You don't see it where there's all these different angles everywhere. You see it where it's all supposed to actually be one pitch. One pitch throughout. I mean, sometimes with exceptions that there would be a dormer or something or a gable in front. I mean, and that's okay, but, um, yeah. Now, what this one has, this is like just a bunch of pyramids kind of thing. Where, um, he started it out in the middle and then here, here, and here. And just used lines and ex use the push, use the, um, this tool right here, the move tool, as you can see my cursor is moving around, take that point in the middle and then pull it up, it works only when there's just four walls and a roof, that's all, that's the only time when it actually works, here and then after, after doing that, he just made lines to link them together, and I mean, there's no, the ratios are all off. I mean, none of them are equal to each other. I mean, based on what you can see from in the windows, this had the potential of being a nice one. Um, and, you know, they're not total losses. Just re-roof them, you know. And that's what I'm going to do right now in just a second. Now, this one, um, okay concept. Just, I mean, more planes that are not right. Um, and as for over here, and then part of today's tutorial will actually show you how to link, you know, varying eave heights to the rest of the roofs. 
what this person attempted to do, but um, was un kind of unsuccessful because you don't see roofs like that because the front view actually shows you neither of these are alike, neither of these um, peaks are alike, especially that one there. That's what this is here. And this is actually the house that I'm roofing today. So, um, and I mean, I'll show you the e an easy way to do it. And really, it's not that hard. It's just some people are just unaware of it. Again, nice houses. Other times, I mean, people get remarkably close. Where, um, especially, this is very common in hipped and gable roofs. Where they would make the gables, but the hip wouldn't be exactly right. So, as you can see where the circles are. These are supposed to be adjoining, but they're just different angles. As you can see from the picture, though, the house is supposed to be really, really nice. And, I mean, it was a very nicely done house, but just that one little roof thing, you know, that will actually, your eyes are instantly drawn to something like that. And especially for here. You're not actually looking at the windows or doors. You're actually just, you're looking at this. It, it's distracting I mean, that's the thing. So, all right, ready to get started. Um, all right, first, you have your house, right? So, what's going to happen now is, oh, uh, make sure when you construct. Okay, so you have your walls. Make sure you construct. Going to, view, um, before that, go to view, edge style, profiles, and turn them on. As you can see, the lines got darker. You don't have to do that, but um, it's just easier to work with at the time. Now, but when you're making renderings of the house, showing it off to people and taking JPEGs, it'd be great to turn off the profile so you can see the details better. But right now, um, whenever you're working with something, it's always best. So you can see where planes are and everything. If the planes are closed, etc., etc. Alright, so now that you have this... We're actually going to start with Windows, Layers, a little plus button. And you don't have to do this part either if you don't want to, but I'm going to do it here. I always do that when I make rows. And I turn the layer on, as you can see. And what I'm actually going to do right now is make a little rectangle in the grass somewhere. I'm going to right click, select, all connected make a group. I do it away from the house so then you know I don't select part of the house to make it part of the group. So then I can just go anywhere I want to. We'll start on the upper we'll start on the upper part of the house. Just anywhere you want to. It's fine. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually trace the outer to so right click edit group. And this is also going to be easier so you can so you can just focus on the roof. What you're going to do is right click, select all connected, erase that. And then what you see, you see these corners here. I would I just start right here and then click and you're in the line tool and just go to corner to corner. As you can see here, it doesn't go all the way to the edge all the way to the corner as you can see here so just go to this part and yeah I'm just going to go ahead and do it real quickly and if you feel like some of these videos drag a little bit um, fast forward or whatever you want to do alright so this is a roof plane this is a plane here that's where your ceilings are I would go to this offset tool here on the top bar. Just click and click out however deep you want your eaves to be. I'll make them one foot six for now for this house. And right click on one of the lines you made, new lines you made. There we are. Now what we're going to do, um, 
I want to join this part with this part so I'm going to go down here next and I'll do the same thing because this is just a rectangle I'm just going to what happened there? this is uh, just a rectangle so I'm going to use a rectangle and then yet again I'm actually going to use this move tool if it's easy just go out but I'll recommend offset tool anytime actually I'm going to use that instead and there you go um, one foot six and then right here this is where the roof line ends where this raw wall ends some people like to go out a little further you know what I mean but yeah and then just go and erase what you don't want Now, I mean, what I mean to say is, I mean, this isn't that hard, but you gotta walk, but you still gotta watch everything you're doing. This is something where you have to watch what you're doing. Alright, so now is a good time to paint the color of your eaves that you want. Paint bucket tool. Go down here. Mm. Mm. So, and however tall, high you want your eaves. Sometimes I make them 8 inches, sometimes I make them 6 inches. Uh, 8 for now. For the most part, usually houses are 6, but... Whatever. It's good enough for this tutorial. Now, what I usually like to do is make eaves, um... That little thing, so... I would right-click on the top plane. Control key. Click on the corner and go down sometimes half I usually just go down two inches that's usually how it is same for down here and as you can see because it's a part of a it's a group it will be it's easy to just monitor and watch all right so then uh just use a series of rectangles this one I almost forgot this one and I don't know why laugh out loud okay um well yeah I'm a human too I make my own mistakes but let's be on the point again I just do this I cut off what I don't need that's another thing, I mean, people have got to be, because there's sometimes whenever a roof is perfectly executed, they just don't always cut off what they don't need, and it also make, makes a tackiness looking into the model, and I mean, that's, that's kind of unattra that's unattractive, to say the, to be honest, to say the least. What happens is, I mean, and unattractive models don't come to good use and all it takes is for one thing to be off or something not to be attractive I mean it's just kind of sad to think about but that's how it is alright so the same so make sure all your eaves are the same whether it's 6 inches, 7 inches, 8 inches etc 1 foot maybe make sure they're all exactly the same So what we're going to do is we're just going to erase what we're not needing. Again, erase what we don't need. And now we do the fun part, the roof. Alright, so in this video I was going to show you actually to link this um, with this. So I'm going to do this part first to get the pitch. Now one thing you got to also remember is when you make sure you do your measurements for the houses because apparently this house actually is off measurements. Um, it has pretty weird measurements, so... Be careful with that, so then you can have a good, clean pitch. A convenient pitch, I mean, like, for building purposes and stuff. Like, 9 by 12 or 45 degrees. So this is going to be a pretty weird pit, pretty off-court pitch. 
but however we're gonna um, execute it anyway so what we're gonna do right now is you see this this is already coincide with this and we start from the top of the eave so we're gonna draw like this so that is your roof pitch and then so I'm just going to do this real fast because I'll show you a very effective trick um, so this will be your pitch plane and we're gonna make two of them and this will be a temporary guide for you making your oh my goodness my eyes are burning okay allergies I probably alright make component mm. you could make a group but it wouldn't be as easy to get rid of because then you can just go into window components all in model and then just erase not sure how you do it from groups okay so we have this what we're gonna do is we're gonna go what we're gonna do is we're gonna like just go and take them to the corners because now as for a gable roof it's it's best you better just have one but um in a hipped roof and this is actually gonna be a complex hipped roof. I'll make, I probably will make another video doing a complex gable and hipped, but this one will just be a hipped roof. So, this will be good, f this will be a nice guide for to start you out. As you can see. Alright, so then, therefore, make sure your component isn't selected. And as you can see, hover over it. You click on the corner here. And hover over it. Make sure the line you see is pink, because that means it's parallel. You just kind of go up. Right click, erase. And so that is an edge for your roof. move that out of the way and then now you can actually right click on it and use the moves in the move tool control key and copy it elsewhere see made copies this will ensure this will assure you that all of your pitch will be exactly the same throughout the structure and that's then that's your goal um, move the plane and then right click on it flip along components red or however whatever direction you're flipping it along as you can see the red line goes through here the green line just along whatever plane and then you do the exact same thing using this method and go out as far as you need to Erase excess. And then what you're going to do is move your plane again. Other people have different ways of doing roofs. If you, um, so if you're if you don't like how I do it, um, there are other tutorials online. No biggie. As you can see, you don't want to transfer the little ones. Make sure you make a big one here before you can transfer the big ones. Make sure that line is pink the whole time. As you can see. Because then that works when you hover over it. And there you are. Is that the way it is? Okay, disregard what I just did. 
Okay, now. Well, that's why. Okay. So you put it down here. And then you just hover over. I accidentally clicked instead of just hovered, so that's what happened. Don't do that. And as you can see. And then just go and put them on the corners that have that kind of, that have that pitch. Make sure you get them right on the corners. So there you can see all of that is lined up nicely, perfectly. And that is your that is your goal. All right, let's put this on. Flip along components green. Again, same method. It's best to go out far. That is not working for some reason. Alright, so if this doesn't work, click. Um, you see, click here. See this thing moving? Over, and then click again. Sometimes I do have those frustrating times. Make sure it's pink. And then one little line there, and erase it. Now, as you can see here, this doesn't close. So I'll just do this. And then, you see this line here? Make sure it's pink. And close it like that. Now, as you're doing the roof, you know, it will adjust. You, you have to adjust it as you're working on it. So, and so when you're designing your house, you know, your roof will be your last, should be your last thing to do. Alright, so now that is closed, so we will copy this line instead because it's the biggest make sure they're pretty big lines pretty long ones alright now as you see for here just take whatever line has that kind of pitch there just copy it and paste. Right click out. Erase. Then erase that. Now I wonder why this isn't working. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you just have to draw on a line again just to close a plane. Yeah, SketchUp can be kind of um weird sometimes, so just bear with it. And then again, erase what you don't want. Draw on the line again. So there you are. So far it is your what you see is a perfect roof. Take this plane once more. Yep, it's not working. So I just click and it will work. And go out as just far. Usually it's best to go over the height of the roof just so then what you're working with. Alright, so we will get rid of that plane there. Because we already have all all angles. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the tallest, close it off. Make sure that line is perfectly red. 
or green or whatever direction you're going and then just link it ah there we are bada bing alright so now I want to link these two now as I said this is going to be a hip drift there will be this one little area where it's flat and like that I think that makes it actually look kind of nice so we're gonna go that we're gonna go that route and then for something like this I would just take just click anywhere on the lines something like this because when um, hips hit a flat wall you don't wanna make it all like a pyramid like other like some have done you wanna actually make it where it looks attached to the wall so there you go you have one of these There you are. That's one of them. Now, whenever you do a gable on this, like on a gable, what you want to do is you want to actually make the e the evil still match. So, whatever you had your gable, uh, eight inches for this one, I'll just use the offset tool and type in eight inches where the triangle is I would just finish it off make sure, making sure the line is pink I don't know how well you can see it but the line has to be pink in terms of being parallel to the original line otherwise you're gonna be off and and off and remember it kinda con it contradicts what I was telling you about earlier how nothing can poss nothing should be off at all. And as you can see, I'm just closing things off. All right, there we are. Now I'm just doing basic cleanups. Give me a second. And again with the whole erasing. Making sure, make sure it's very, make sure it's clean. It's got to be clean. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap here because I'm gonna actually extend that wall out when I'm done. So there we are making sure that this is the right color you go in and color it alrighty then I'll just this is what I do to incorporate like gable peaks and whatnot. So again, you're just erasing what you don't want. And a way to clean it up is to go around the perimeter of the house and just draw over where the walls are. Again, this is not really this is not really hard. It's just long. It's just kind of a tedious process. The more complex the roof is, the more of this you're going to be doing. The more cleanup and such you're going to be doing. More reconciling. That's what I'm going to say. 
you see here this is going to be parallel two inches away or however long this now however this little line these little lines here I'm showing you are actually kind of are just decorative but I mean it makes the house look more complete I'm going to complete that in just a second so I'm going to hide this line right there I'm going to hide this as well and make it and make it not the color of the house what I did was I used the eyedropper tool you can do that even when not in the house component all right, so we'll just finish the rest of this. And as I did for the rest of the house, I just do this. And erase what I don't desire. There's also a model with the le least um, stray lines inside. And that's another thing um, some people encounter is that um, they have they have a nice house but a lot of stray lines and that also detracts from the beauty of it. All right, so from the tip here, you take it and make sure it's green. You go all the way to the wall where it says on face outside active, and then just bring it down. And then for here, it will be a little different. I'll just go with the rectangle tool here to here. And wherever that corner is, you find it. This is why I had you do the do the um groups so then you wouldn't be interfering with the house. So and then now just use your pencil tool. Now what you could do is intersect planes with model, but the reason why being is that there are walls inside the house and you have to do more erasing. Because here all you have to do is just one little erase in here and that's it. I wanted to save you from the trouble and then inside just go ahead and erase what you don't want. Again, just more reconciliation. And also make sure this is the color of the eave itself. In case you forgot what the color it was, just go to eyedropper tool. And then Oh come on, computer likes to freeze. Don't you just love that when you're recording and that happens? Okay. So your roof, this is a complete roof. And color it any way you like. So what I would do is I'd just go to roofing, or if I can find it, and choose. And I'm getting a text. See, and that is a roof. And then what you could do if you don't like it, just click on something else, shift, there's actually a lot that would look good on the house like this. But you get the idea. And as you can see. Alright, and then you know that plane you asked? Go to Window, Components, In Model. And this guy has a whole bunch of different components in it. But what you would do is you would actually go and find the component. But, um, and then just right click, delete, and it would give you this, it would give you this warrant, this thing. Oh, yeah. And before we go, there was one last thing I forgot to address, and that was this. Just make sure, okay, um, there's a wall you don't need here, so just do it. Make sure you're not erasing your roof. What you're going to be doing. Essentially you're just cleaning, you're just cleaning this up. You 
may have to go back in and out of the roof component several a few times just to make sure you're doing it right. Now, if this is part of the house, which it isn't, and it grew. Huh. Another good thing about groups is that you can move them so you can see what you're doing. Hide. Hide. So, you can put this back on. And there you are. See how flawless that is? Ah, what are, what's going on here? Alright. Make sure I'm not in the roof layer this time. Make sure I'm in the house layer. No biggie, just go back and f fill in the gaps. I go use the pencil tool, go on the corners. Like I said, it's not really hard, it's just that there's just a bunch of work involved with it. A bunch of different things you have to take into consideration when doing a complex roof. And that is your introduction to complex roofs. One last good thing about layers and components and stuff is to turn off the roof layer and you can see inside. Now, this isn't my floor plan, this is somebody else's. So, um, thank you to Steve-O101 for the house. The reason why I used his house, actually, is because I'm not working on any models currently, and I don't have, so I don't have any roofs to do for my own, so I used someone else's. And the house was of good shape, so I decided to use it. And now, for the final thing, go to View, Edge Style, Profiles, and there you go all of the details show. Well guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you liked it because there will be more your way. This was the complex hipped roof. Next time will be the complex hipped and gable roof. And then I might do a complex gable roof. Depends. But um, And I might actually just go ahead and use this house again because it, this house is an excellent example. So, I uh, will see you guys later. Alright, bye-bye, thank you, have a great day.